Greetings, my esteemed subscribers. Welcome to the greatest gaming channel of all time. Now I'm joking, it isn't really. It isn't even a gaming channel, but I thought it would be fun to introduce it thus. What is perhaps the greatest of all time? It's Age of Empires 2, and we have a new DLC for the game, which is set in good old India. And as you can see before you, we have a campaign with good old Babur. Now, as you have probably seen, I can only suppose that you are following me on um, different social media, Telegram for example, and Instagram. Then you've seen me Babur Khan posting. I recommended a book series a while back, which uh, the first book in the series is about Babur Khan. And um, I actually read this book quite a few years back and then I decided to reread it and it was much better on the second read through because as you um, attain more experience yourself you get a different appreciation for uh, well, the uh, ups and downs of life so to speak and uh, you get a different appreciation for someone who despite everything pursues um, his goals and his visions and uh, Someone who has a firm belief in his own destiny. So for all Indians who might be listening and watching this, I am of course not endorsing the, um, the havoc Babur um, caused in India. But you know, history is full of violence, so it's not really something I um, I need to say. But, um, but I know that uh, there is a bloody history of the Mughals. But anyway, the book series is what I want to get to. I can highly recommend it great series and as you all know I do write a lot of book reviews mainly of um, more esoteric literature as of late now if you're new to reading I would definitely recommend you to read some historical fiction so you get a good um, easily digested overview of um, certain time periods so I learned quite a bit from just reading those uh, books about the Mughal Empire now anyway this is not actually um, video on books. This is a Age of Empires 2 Let's Play video. So uh, we're gonna get straight into good old Babur here. So as I'm sure they will say in this uh, cinematic we're about to see, Babur Khan claimed to be a descendant of the great Genghis Khan and also of uh, Tamerlane, Timurulenk, who um, you actually have a campaign here in Age of Empires 2, and he was a, a brutal conqueror um, of, uh, of exceeding ruthlessness. Might make a separate video on him later on, who knows. So anyway, Babur Khan, he came from a line of uh, bloody conquerors, and of course he had grown up with you know, people telling him of his, um, of his destiny, of his blood, that he had you know, was divinely blessed to achieve greatness. And of course, if you have that sort of belief in yourself, then reality will conform to that vision. As I mentioned in Dauntless. Now anyway, enough talking from my side. Let's get into the um, game itself. Pearl of the East. Perhaps they are talking about Samarkand there. We'll see. Allah gives and Allah takes. I fear that I do not have much time left in this world, yet I cannot complain. My life has been an adventure, and for all my humility, I believe it has been extraordinary enough to be written about. You may accuse me of vanity, but I have decided to write the book myself. It should be good literature, after all. I dined with fine emirs and caroused with simple peasants on moonlit steps. They waged wars and sat on thrones only to lose them again. And it all began in the maelstrom of intrigue and bloody skirmishes that was my beloved Transoxiana, the melting pot of Persian high culture and nomadic traditions. To the east of Samarkand, my father ruled the fertile slopes of the Fergana Valley. Like all heirs of Tamerlane, he was a proud Timurid who sought to imitate his great ancestor. Unfortunately, 
Allah had not blessed him with a knack for warfare. After a few humiliating defeats, he decided to devote himself to his other passions. Eating, drinking, and rearing pigeons. One day, as my father was climbing the stairs to check on his birds, Allah, in his infinite wisdom, decided that this model of gluttony had waffled on the earth for long enough. Halfway up to the dovecote, the stairs collapsed under him, and he fell to his death. And that is how I, Babur, came to be lord of the Fergana Valley. Yet, like all transitions of power in our culture, it was not to be a peaceful one. Thanks to my dear mother, Kutluk, my bays agreed not to abandon what surely appeared to be a dynasty in shambles. But my devious uncles were another matter. At that time, I was just a 14-year-old boy with nothing to my name, and my uncles, who had long desired the Fargana Valley, thought that my inheritance was ripe for the taking. So there you see the dangers of bloat maxing. You, uh, you can't bloat max, you can't bulk too hard, then you will um, die in uh, such a manner. So anyway, good introduction, as is the case for most of these Age of Empires 2 campaigns. They uh, set the stage. Okay, so we have to hold off the enemy Timurids. So, uh, Timurids, the etymology is um, the house of Timur, so Tamerlane. So we have some... The fortified tower must not be destroyed, and Babur and his mother Kutlug must survive. Fair enough. Now we can look at a hint. I'm not going to read through this because it's um, it's not reasonable at this particular time. Men sneak around in the shadows of our walls, my princess. Shall we get the boy to safety? These cowards snuck up in the dark of the night, but there is no need to fearfully hide. Hold our position until dawn. And the sun will reveal the faces of these scoundrels. Alright, we need to defend her. So here we have Kutlug, which is the mother. And here we have young Babur. So since we have these heroes, they regenerate health. They might as well take some... Um, take some damage so I'm not risking uh, Babur I am um, I'm merely making sure that he is um, getting a taste of battle Of course, we have to be careful so um, so he doesn't die, uh, young Babur. And of course, when you play Age of Empires 2, you can um, try to get the archers to shoot at the infantry and uh, the cavalry to chase down archers. Now, I managed to lose some of my cavalry. Unfortunately, but um, it is what it is. And now I actually forgot to do something which I should have done uh, at the very start, and that is to upgrade the attack of, uh, of my archers. Oh well, I can always blame my um, gaming performance on the fact that Justice I'm recording. Some of your greedy uncles were among the attackers. They are not worthy of ruling glorious Samarkand. And since they failed to seize our homeland, we will now take theirs. Alright, good stuff. So we have started the, um, the mission itself, and we're going to conquer these hostile Timurids. So now, what you should always do, if you play any strategy game, I suppose, 
should build up your economy. So what I will do now is I will try to get hold of some stone somewhere so I can build a second town center. And then I will boom. And boom means that I will create a strong economy. That is the first action to do whenever you play. Much can be achieved if you trust in Allah and your own strength. But it cannot hurt to have loyal allies by your side. Seek out other emirs in the area who can be convinced to join our cause. I will do so, Kutlug. I will actually explore a bit with her. Now, you can also create a market and buy. You can trade some... Um, some gold for stone. Um, and then we can build our second town center. So I'm gonna do that. Boom. And can you just build it here? So we can continue to boom. We can actually build two town centers. I believe it's the only reasonable course of action. And now I'm gonna get rid of the Uzbeks. So we're baiting them. Ah, oh, we can't bait them. They are um, they are unbaitable, but um, but we're gonna see anyway if we can do something here. Now they have been successfully tricked into coming to us. And of course I don't want to lose young Babur here, so he will have to run around a bit when the others are um, fighting. So now we have cleared th the path for Kutlug to uh, explore a bit while we boom Max here. So basically I will probably edit this video. I have no troops to spare, Babur. But my people report that the Uzbeks construct siege hey. weapons in a nearby camp. I would rather me. see these powerful devices in your hands than theirs. Aha, so these guys, they have told us that we can gain this... ...these tribuchets, which is, um, which is good. I will, I will do it. But yeah, as I was saying, I will edit this video, uh, because it would be too long if I, um... I record all of it so I will just keep booming here my economy get a great economy and then we will strike out so that is a good idea if you play Age of Empires 2 or any strategy game for that matter to get your economy in order before um, focusing on military matters then of course you should create an army at the same time, so that you don't get mugged by uh, enemy raiders and the like. So I'm doing that and uh, I'm creating some more horse archers. I think that's reasonable since we're playing as the Tatars. Ah, Babur. The young tiger with both Tamalangs and Temuchi's blood in his veins. Very well. Bring me ten white horses and we shall form an alliance following our traditional custom all right so we have to procure 10 white horses to uh, get this fine gentleman to ally with us so i suppose we'll have to scout around a bit and uh, i see two magnificent white stallions here come with me I will gift you to this gentleman right here, and he will take good care of you, I am certain. And here we actually have another fine horse. So we're gonna send him straight down here. And uh, then we have a third Timurid noble to visit. And then we'll launch a little raid here. Just need to build up our forces a bit. And here are two more horses. How nice. Your father is not exactly a religious man. 
Do you care more for pious Bargay people, Babu? Then bring me a holy relic. We are indeed pious. So we will do that. We will bring a sacred relic to this um, fine gentleman. So you can meditate upon its sacredness. But as you can see, we have also been attacked here. Our fine fortified tower we need to defend it at all costs. Hey. So here we have it, Samarkand. We cannot go nearer now, I suppose. We have to uh, continue to defend. Here we got into a bit of a bit of trouble here. Uh, unfortunately. So now we have to use the infamous or famous or uh, depending on your perspective hit and run tactics. Because here we can see pikemen, halberdiers, they are uh, especially good against cavalry, cavalry archers, so we need to pick them off at range. So they don't get close. And now, of course, we need to repair our tower here so we don't get mugged. And we can perhaps build a castle there somewhere as well. I think that's the only reasonable course of action. So we're gonna take these guys here and place a magnificent castle. And you can see the nice Central Asian aesthetics of the. Um, of the buildings here. Good stuff, good stuff. Now, we need to find a relic. I see that you can be relied on, Babu. Ten splendid white horses, exactly as a dream. Come then, henceforth, we ride under the banner of the tiger. He was very pleased with our offering of uh, ten white horses. I am uh, I'm happy now we can fight alongside us as we try to mug these uh, new males. Now I'm sure these uh, hostile timurids were not new males. I think we were quite uh, quite concerned indeed with uh, honor and um, the principles of um, the principles of warrior culture. And now, as you can see, we have amassed a decent enough force, so we can probably go on a little raid to uh, procure these uh, trebuchets. Perhaps that's actually a silent T, if you pronounce it in French. I am unfortunately not fluent in French. It's um. It's completely barbaric of me. Alright, the moment of truth. Can we defeat these Uzbek scouts? Perhaps we can. So we have here some camels, which are good against cavalry. Because horses, they don't like camels. They get a bit anxious when they're near camels. And this is reflected in the game by camels being additionally good against uh, cavalry. So yes, I suppose that was enough. We can train some additional soldiers here for good measure always good to have and here we have found a sacred relic so we need to train some more camels I suppose to uh, get rid of them and here we see a great, great levels of unemployment. We need to put these guys to work immediately. Otherwise we don't have any gold. 
But as I mentioned before, you can actually trade and get some gold that way. But of course, it's better to um, to mine gold or even trade. We can see if we find a friendly market somewhere, and then we can send some trade cards. Well done, Tiger. You will easily crush your devious uncles with these trebuchet. Behold, we have procured the... And there we were exceedingly close to getting Babur killed. Perhaps I should actually station him in uh, the castle here so he doesn't... So he doesn't die. It would be a fail. It would be a failure of a let's play. Oh, this is also a bit of a failure. They got... Um, they got mugged, my villagers. They got mugged by raiders. So we have to send our cavalry there immediately. Can also train some new villagers. Our trusted camels. They, uh, they take care of business. And now, as you can see, you can also upgrade their armor, so they're a bit tougher. So, we have destroyed one castle here, and we are approaching the great city of Samarkand. And uh, we have also finally picked up the relic, which we will gift to the pious lord of this uh, fine village. I hope he appreciates our uh, fine gift. And there is the second castle we need to destroy with our fine trebuchets. And we have procured a military camp here as well, so we can train additional soldiers and send in to the thick, the thick of a uh, fighting. Must love you greatly if you manage to find this relic and bring it to me. My dervishes and I will stand by your side in the coming battles, Babur. Nice to hear. He did. He did appreciate well done, our fine uh, Two gift. Two influential timrids have joined us. Skill diplomacy is as good a weapon as a sword. Sometimes. So now we have to be on the lookout for pikemen, as I said, otherwise they will completely mug our uh, cavalry. Fortunately, these horse archers they have a, a decent attack against this, uh, this pikemen, so um, all good, all good. Right, so Samarkand is almost ours, we just have one, one castle standing in the way. So I'm not gonna spoil anything about the book, but um, Samarkand was um, initially, at least, the grand prize that uh, Babur and, of course, all Timurid princes they wanted to have it, the, the jewel of uh, Central Asia, one could say, a very rich city, of course, neatly located on the Silk Road. Speaking of the Silk Road, or rather the Silk Roads, I have a book which I have shown and I will get around to read it. So the Silk Roads by Peter Frankopan. I will um, talk about it in a podcast or a book review or even in a video when I have read it, but my to read list is... Um, I could cry with pride and happiness. Summer can't. Tamerlane's dearest bride is back in the hands of a true Timurid. And this man of honor is you, my son. As delightful as it is to watch these duffed grandchildren of Tamerlane slaughter each other, it is getting a little boring. It is time to put an end to this juvenile struggle. Um, okay. I see your anger, my son. But it is good. That the Uzbeks are so haughty. Reckless opponents are easy to overcome. 
yes, as I was saying, my to read list is quite extensive, as it is. But I will get around to to that book eventually. And now, of course, as you um, saw from the dialogue, Shaibani Khan, which is um, is a prominent antagonist in the books as well. Um, Shaibani Khan has decided to wage war upon us, and yeah, so as you're saying, he's um, he appears in the in the first book as well. Good times, good times. Now, as you can see here, the enemy Uzbek army, their uh, civilization is the Kumans, and the Kumans, a very fascinating story in itself. They got driven away during the. Mongol conquest of Russia. They fled south. Some of them ended up in Egypt as slaves. And then the um, so the Mamluk dynasty. And then they actually got their revenge on the Mongols in uh, certain battles in the Middle East. Very fascinating story. Again, I might make some sort of video on it. I will certainly mention it again. And you have in this fine game, Age of Empires 2, you have a campaign where you play as the Cumans. I highly recommend it if you, um, yeah, if you play the game. Now checking back in, as you can see, we have almost defeated Shaibani Khan and his Uzbeks. need to get this castle down and uh, I do believe that the victory will be ours. Yeah. The tiger has shown his clothes. Mark my words. We will meet again. On a moonless autumn night, we overcame the walls of Samarkand. The city's merchants and dignitaries were thrilled to receive me and praised my sense of justice, as they had heard that I did not tolerate looting among my soldiers. Yet when Shaybani Khan returned in the spring and Uzbek soldiers blocked the trade routes, their enthusiasm quickly evaporated. Before long, a famine broke out in the city. As the weeks wore on, more and more of my men left Samarkand under the pretext that they might catch a few sheep outside of the walls. None of them were ever seen again. In the end, I realized that I had to gamble for my survival. With my last loyal followers, I snuck past the besiegers during the night and sped towards the Fergana Valley to procure provisions and reinforcements. When we reached the valley at dawn, two riders came bringing terrible news. In my absence, one of Shaybani's generals had made himself the new master of Fergana. I felt like my father must have when the stairs gave way under him. I had stretched my luck too thin and lost the land of my forefathers to the invaders. All right, good stuff, good stuff. I will see if I make uh, second video. I will meditate upon it. Do let me know in the comments if you like these videos. I, uh, Of course I enjoy making them. All good. And um, if we do continue on this campaign, we will lead down to India to establish the Mughal dynasty. But yeah, we'll see. Thank you for watching and I wish you a high thumos rest of your day. XOXO, boom.